Hello everyone, my name is Ziheng. I am the CEO and the co-founder of Denso AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Denso AI to build a customer chatbot using your own website data, how to configure it and eventually deploy it to your own website. So you will end up with a chatbot nicely landed on the bottom right corner of your website. Um, let's jump onto the topic. So first, um, you can visit our website at www.denser.ai. Once you landed on this page, you can simply click login. And once you click, you can use your Google account to sign into um, the dashboard. So as you can see, there is no chatbot on this uh, dashboard. So we have start from my clean workspace. So first, you need to cl click the new chatbot. Um, so on this page, uh, you can see we have a bunch of ways to build a chatbot from. Either we can build from your website or you can build from uploaded PDF text files, etc. Uh, or you can build from the files from your Google Drive. Um, the first demo is going to using the website. So here we just using our own website, which is HTTP and uh, we actually can use in the site map.xml. So in this one, um, this demo is going to scrape all these URLs um, from the site map and uh, build it. So if we choose the site map, we choose the uh, site map option here. Otherwise, we were going to crawl all the pages under the .tensor.ai domain. So here we go, we click build now. Um, so under the hood, uh, Tensor.ai is going to scrape all these pages from the um, set map. Um, um, the pages included in the set map, you can see they are close. I think it's close to 300 web pages. Uh, which is including all this uh, um, blog, blog post and the menus from Dexter.ai. Uh, so the first step is crawl all these pages and then pass the page content from those pages. And the lastly split the page content to small chunks, uh, which is called passages. And using those passages to build a Dexter AI chatbot index. Once the index is built, um, so we should be able to query, um, submit the query to ask any questions related to our Denser AI website. So, so here we go. Let's just do a quick test of what are the use cases does Denser support. So once we submit this query, it's going to search against all these uh, web pages under things.ai domain and uh, it will retrieve the uh, relevant um, documents from the website and then eventually pass these uh, passages to a large language model to do a summarization and present the results here. So from here, not only you can see it can accurately answer your questions uh, it will also give you the citation feature. Once you click this uh, blue dot, you will end it up with the source pages, which is used to generate uh, these answers. So this uh, provides a level of uh, transparency. Users can use this uh, source information to verify the correctness of this response. Uh, once the chatbot is built, uh, we have uh, we can customize it. So first, I mean. We can change the title, say, um, Denser AI. Um, we we'll save it. So you can see the Denser uh, AI name is uh, changed, and there are more customization um, configuration you can find on the customization tab. Uh, first, notice that we do not have a logo here. So the first thing is just to upload a logo. So here we go, we have a light logo. Um, a display here. Uh, on this uh, large language model setting, you can choose easy, easy, either the uh, ChatGPT model from OpenAI or the cloud model from Anthropic. And the lead generation 
uh, it's going to control whether you would like to have a lead generation form pop up on the chatbot uh, widget. And then uh, it's, uh, it's used to control the look and the feel of this uh, chatbot. Lead display timing is going to control whether you want to show this lead generation form immediately or after the user uh, input the first query. Uh, citation is the setting to control whether you would like to have the citation feature or not. The citation means you have the blue dot. Remember, we have the blue dot, which is, uh, can point you to the source um, passages, which are used to generate the answers. Branding, if you are on a plan on the standard or business, you have the option to remove by the powered by Denso AI message. So here we go, save it. There are more configurations like uh, initial message, so which is uh, appear here. So we can certainly change to say, ask me anything related to Denso. So we, we can customize the greeting message here. Suggested question is a way to you can put the most frequently asked question here, like um, what are the uh, pricing options for Denser AI? Yeah. So notice that you will get a button here. Um, so users can simply click this button to ask this question instead of uh, type the question manually. Um, message bubble is a way to control the uh, this message, this greeting message here. A uh, message placeholder is a way to control to set this message here. A uh, message prompt is a it's a very useful feature. So this provides a way for you to instruct the response style the large language model. Um, for example, a lot of times you notice that the large language model generates a very detailed response. If you want to change the style to make it uh, shorter, uh, perhaps you can add some queries such as uh, ensure the response is concise. So this way you instruct the large language model to generate the precise and concise response instead of a very lengthy detailed response. So you can see it here. Um, so, um, so, so here we customize the, the, the chatbot. So a big question um, is that once we build this chatbot, we want to integrate it to your own website. So we can click integration here. I notice that the most frequent um, way to integration is to integrate it to your website. So we can simply click get code here. Uh, if you copy and paste this uh, code snippet and paste it into your website portal, and then you can just uh, get some chatbot uh, looks like this one. So it's very um, simple. Uh, notice that this chatbot ID actually is the one we just built a few minutes ago. So it's just simply copy and paste. Um, instead of uh, deploy the chatbot to as a, as a widget, you can also embed the chatbot on, uh, on a box on your website. So again, you can simply copy and paste this code snippet to your uh, website page. Besides integration to website, you can always uh, you can um, also integrate it to different platforms such as Slack, Telegram, Zapier, Shopify, WordPress. So those are a lot of features you can explore here. Um, security controls whether you want to have the chatbot is private or public. At default, it's private, meaning you are the only one can chat with your chatbot. If you want to deploy to your website, make sure to set it public. Here, yeah. Um, then goes to the uh, data store type. Data store is uh, basically store all these uh, documents or website URLs are used um, to build your chatbot. So from this page, you can see there are 339 URLs are used to build this chatbot. You can edit it, you can remove or add new web pages 
Once you add it, you simply hit uh, rebuild, it's going to refresh the chatbot. The lead generation, if you turn on the lead generation here, um, like turn it on, you will have an uh, uh, option to collect the leads from the chatbot. So here you can customize the leads field. Um, see, uh, you have a default of person name on the uh, email address. Certainly you can add more fields such as the phone. Um, fields, once you save it, and then you will notice that you have the phone fields appear here. Um, also, if you uh, if you get the, if your leads submitted the information, you will see all these submitted leads here. Here we do not see any because this is a brand new chatbot. Oh, uh, yeah. Next, I'm going to show you. Um, in addition to build a chatbot from your website, you can you can also build a chatbot from the document like a PDF, TXT. XML, CSV, TSV file, etc. So here I simply build a chatbot using a PDF file from a high school handbook. Um, so here we go. So this handbook, uh, I think it has around 300 pages, so it, it's very quick to uh, build it. Um, so let's just uh, have a test query. Um, what happens? if a student is late. So once we submit this question, this question is used to search against that high school uh, handbook and uh, retrieve relevant uh, uh, information and eventually we will see the results here. So the last thing um, for this um, chatbot is that not only it can give you the accurate results, you can actually uh, trace by clicking this blue dots, can see uh, what are the original sources used to generate these uh, questions. So this uh, provides a very nice way for you to uh, verify the correctness of this uh, response. Um, so here we, uh, in conclusion, in this uh, video, I demonstrated uh, the two ways to build the chatbot. Uh, one is from the, your website and the other one is uh, using the documents you uploaded. I hope uh, this uh, video is uh, uh, useful. Thank you.